What's going on everyone? On this work order they're saying the large right coil burner gets hot even on the low setting and it get bright orange red hot. So I already know what it's going to be. It's going to be a bad switch. After you do about a thousand of them you already know what it is. Man this place is one of my favorite places to do work orders. It's Christmas all year round no matter when you come in here. There's a Christmas tree up. It's decorated for Christmas. Don't matter when. July August, October, Halloween, it's Christmas up in here. I love this place. All right, I turned the breaker off and pulled the oven out. You gotta come around the back here. Take the screws out of the panel. Yeah, this place is like a mix between Disney and, Disney and Christmas. It even smells like Christmas in here. It's wonderful. Every time I see this work order, I, I volunteer. I'll get it. All right, it's gonna be all cooked inside. You'll see it black and burned. I have to set that anywhere, Lex. All right, let me see if I can get a light up in here. It's gonna be this switch. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. Once I pull it out, you'll see. But I can see it from here. It's all crispy up in there. It's black and burned. That one looks good. And the walls on that one are burned. That's how you can tell. So we're gonna change this switch out. Real easy, just go wire for wire. Yeah, make sure your new one is matching. See how it's got the orange dot right there? That one up in there has the orange dot as well. That's for the eight inch. The six inch got the black dot. So make sure that matches up. You don't wanna put a six inch on an eight inch. So yeah, and I'll leave a uh, link to these in the description below for you homeowners that watch. All you gotta do is click on the link and you can type in your brand and find switches for your oven brand gonna take it wire for wire wire up the new one just like the old one again the power is off so if you're doing this at home make sure the power is off cut the breaker or unplug it yeah sometimes these wires can be difficult to get off I always use my flathead because sometimes if you pull too hard on the end of the wire, the wire will come out of the spade and ooh, man, that gets me hot. Or it used to back before I did the old flathead trick where I just pop it off with the flathead. All right, got the new switch wired up. Just gonna pull the old one out. All you do is pull the handle off. It just pulls right off and you'll have Two Phillip head screws here. These are tiny screws. Be super careful. All right, match the new switch holes up to the holes here and pop your screws back in. Really easy repair. Good one for you new techs. All right, new switch is mounted and snug. Pop our switch back on, or our knob. That's it. Easy as that. All right, I got everything back together. Let's try it out. This switch over here was the culprit. She said she would put it on low, like that. And this element would get red, bright, orange, hot, immediately. I mean, it's getting hot, but I can still touch it. I think she's going to be good to go. Yep, that's staying on low. I can still touch it, so it's still on low not getting all the way to the hottest setting all right yeah here's the old one as you can see it's all black and crispy up in there that's what happens so this all right guys thank you all for watching we'll see you in the next one Ladies.